Hi my friends, today I want to show you the BX Control V2 by Brainworks. This is a great tool, a tool uh, highly misunderstood and for sure um, underrated. Okay, so basically this is a MSA processor. What we can do with it? First you have here a very very good uh, metering um, suit here. You can judge the balance, the correlation phase here, the pix meter, the RMS and even here the dynamic show. Okay. Then you have the controls here. Left right MS processing, you switch between the, the two options. Left right sweeping, fast reverse. Left left right. Okay. Here the metering the the monitor options. The balance here. You can pan the mid information, you can pan the side information, very good. The mono maker here and the stereo wideness. You can increase the wideness of the signal or not. Okay, basically here you have a lot of um, tools that are used in this big baby, especially the mono maker here, the stereo wideness here that I used on the master bus here, always on my master. Okay, so what we can do with this thing? The first thing I want to show you, I really love about this plugin, is um, is uh, the the mid the, the monitors option right. yeah. okay let me so for example you have this track here and you want to judge the balance I'm gonna loop it here okay I want to judge what's going on on the left and right side so in place if I put right I have the right signal right left okay very difficult to judge if you unlock the in place switch here the left is gonna be on center and then right so it's easier for me to you know to see for example the frequency balance the right side is brighter right because you have the high heads that is doing Okay, so you can monitor left, right in the center, same as mid and side information, or left on the left, right on the right. Okay, so for for your brain to get the information and uh, for your ear, it's easier to to listen in the center. Right? So I love this feature alone. Okay, why this such a tool is great? First, for the mono maker. Let me just put first for the mono maker. Understand here that if I use the mono maker, for example, at this position, 45 hertz, everything that's gonna be under 45 hertz is gonna be in mono. Okay? Why you want such a tool? Because uh, usually, especially on the techno track like that, it's gonna be played in a club and all that. So basically, I want, for example, all the people to hear the same information, the same energy, right? So the kick, the bass and all that. So usually I go up for like, you know, 200 hertz or something like that to be sure that if you everywhere in the club, you're gonna feel the kick, the bass at the same level and all that. Okay, so for example, here I used the BX saturator and you see here on the bass, here on the bass, look at that. It's pretty center, right? I only kept the the high information that are on the side, okay. And to judge it, look at that. You can you can use this baby. So let me just you hear the bass here, okay. If I wanna know what's gonna be on the on the stereo, I just put it like that. Okay, so so basically what I'm telling you right now is that you can tweak, for example, a sound and having this on your master or even on the sound, you can control what you're doing right now. Okay, so for example here, if I check the mid information, okay, I know what's going to be on the mid, I know it's going to be on the side. For example, for the side here, I decided to put back some great, 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 great uh, distortion here to get some, um, uh, on a track, to get some uh, presence, you know, 
some more density to the to the bass. Let's hear it. What uh, the BX saturator is doing? Okay, without. Okay, so you have a pretty uh, stereo image and uh, no density in the center, right? With the BX saturator. Pretty crazy, right? Okay, I love to use it. This is this is a great tool too, man. I mean, don't underestimate the brainwork stuff because uh, they're not bling bling or something like that, but they get the job done really quick. <clears throat> okay, without. The second thing I want you to, to show you, and this is where this tool is very handy, is for example, to be sure that I ain't gonna take off all the side lows information using the mono maker here. I want you to focus here, especially on the low information on the side. Listen now and now. Okay, you hear the muddiness here? Now. So I took off the lows under 261 hertz of the side and then put it back on the center. And to be sure here, without, let's hear the mono, okay, with it. See how we gain density in the center? Okay, without. So basically if you don't have a grid monitoring or something like that, this is gonna help you really to focus on the information you want. Okay. Without. With it. On the side. With it. Okay. The mudding is here. Okay. Okay, and for example, here I can increase the series wideness. Okay, I can lower it. Basically here, but only here, center. Okay. I can also put the center information, the mid information on the right, and the stereo information on the left, for example. No need here. I don't see the uh, why I will do that on this thing, but it can be uh, useful sometime. Just right click, sorry. Okay. I put it back here. Okay, all my friends. Okay, back here. What I have done here, same thing. BX saturator to get density. Without. With it. Okay. Now out with it okay we focus on the side information listen to the side now bypassed with it okay bypassed center with it okay the whole thing without with it Okay, let me just, I know it's a BX control video, but I really want you to uh, not underestimate even here the BX saturator, right? Okay, let me just do that. I'm gonna bypass only the two BX saturator on the bass and the, the voices up, okay? Now. Okay, now, you see how you beef up the thing? I love, I love this plugin because um, basically uh, a lot of time you're gonna reach for, uh, you're gonna reach for AQ compression and all that, but really the saturation is a, is a compression, okay? You're gonna drive the signal, you're gonna give it density and here you can control also uh, 
uh, different kind of drive and amount of drive and harmonic content according to what frequency you want it in so don't underestimate this thing if time is low I will do you a, a, a tutorial on this thing but go back on the let's go back on a BX control v2 great tool okay you saw that you can it's really great to monitor stuff it's also really great to make um, MS decoding what is that let's say you have here let's do it I'm gonna do it quickly because I know you don't like big videos and all that so let's go for the vocal here the vocal pad okay let me just put it in stop let me clone this track hold on hold on hold on select it let me clone it okay so you have two here two vocal pads okay with the same processing here let me just <clears throat> you have this one I'm gonna get off everything I used okay so basically here, for example, I can put the BX control and put it on the mid position, right? And then this one, it's gonna be, let me just be sure to get uh, the right thing. I'm gonna put it back here. Okay, let me just put a BX control on this thing. Special BX control V2. And I put it on the side. Okay. Okay, yeah. Let me just be sure that... <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm doing a mess here. Okay. Side. In place. Mid here. In place. So basically, I think you understood what I'm doing right now. I have two tracks. The same signal, but in one track I have the mid information. And in another track, let me just go back on the console view, it's going to be easier for you to understand here. So here, I have the side. Okay. And here, I have the mid. Hold on, my friends. Hold on, my friends. So basically, these tracks here, I can do everything I want on the mid saturation, reverb, whatever you want. And this thing, you only have the side. I can put saturation, compressor, limiting, whatever you want. So basically the decoding, that's for that. You're gonna have your signal split and you can uh, handle the mid and the side or the left and the right. This is how you feel. And uh, this is really, 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 really a great, 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 great tool. A lot of times, sometimes some people send me some stereo tracks, even for the chorus, for the vocals and all that. So I have to share this kind of this kind of stuff. And uh, unless you have some great MS processing tools like the BX here, or uh, uh, for example, the Vertigo here, that can handle left, right, but not MS. The Alpha Comp here that can handle the MS stuff. Unless you have this kind of stuff, unless you can, you have the MS processing, you cannot do it. So another way to do it is just to use some regular stuff, but on channels that are split before by the BX control. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm really sorry uh, for the time. I think it's it's uh, it's kind of long, but I wanted to show you this baby. Don't underestimate it. Use it to control, use it to split signal, use it to tweak the center, the left, right, the side, 
Monomaker is a godsend. Stereo wideness of your tracks, okay? Be sure to subscribe to the channel to be aware of my next videos. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And uh, I'll let you hear the tracks. Enjoy, my friends. Bye-bye.